What's up guys, it's Widgeon TV here. Today I have another turf war for you. This time between Palumu and Toby Kadachi. If you're new to my Turf War series, this is where I've basically created Monster Fight Club. Two monsters enter and only one can leave victorious. So the rules here are pretty simple. I load up the arena with two different monsters in it, I let them fight each other without hunter intervention, and whatever monster does the most damage or kills the other monster is named the winner. Check out my other two videos in the playlist, I'll put a link in the description below. Alright, so now that we got that out of the way, let's take a look at Palumu and Toby Kadachi. So starting off with Palumu. As you can see here, it's the 10th monster that you discover in the campaign. He's one of the first monsters that you find in the Coral Highlands, and Palumu doesn't do any elemental damage. And his average weight is about 1,250, and obviously this monster does fly, and we'll have to see how that affects the fight going against a monster that does not fly. Now looking over at Toby Kadachi, we can see that it is the 6th monster that you discover in the campaign. It is one of the last monsters that you spot in the Ancient Forest. Very notably though, Toby does do thunder damage, and Palumu is too star weak to thunder damage, so that's another big X factor going into the fight. Toby also has a higher average weight than Palumu, but obviously cannot fly, but it can jump into the air and glide, and we'll see that move throughout the fight. Alright, so obviously now is time to make your bets. Put your guess on who you think is going to win this fight down in the comments below. I was really surprised by the victor, and I think you guys will be too. Alright, now that you've done that, here's how the fight went. Toby Kadachi basically railed Palumu for the entire fight with his tail. Not only could Toby Kadachi land his tail attacks, but they seemed to be doing a lot of damage, because Palumu kept falling over and dropping material. So this led me to assume that Toby Kadachi was going to run away with this battle, especially because he had the X factor of the thunder damage that we talked about earlier. But about 25 minutes into this fight, things started turning around for Palumu. I don't know if Palumu got enraged or was just tired of Toby Kadachi hitting him with his tail, but at about this time in the fight, Palumu started doing a ton of butt slams. and they were connecting. But this only lasted for about 5 minutes, and then it went back to Toby Kadachi dominating the fight. But something really surprised me at about 35 minutes, Toby Kadachi dropped Slinger Pot Ammo. This is a sure sign that the monster is at about 30% health. And then finally, at about 45 minutes, I poked Toby Kadachi one last time, because monsters cannot kill other monsters, the hunter has to inflict the very last tick of damage. And that last tick of damage ended up killing Toby Kadachi. making Palumu the victor in this fight. Even though Toby Kadachi seemed dominant for most of the entire fight, Palumu ended up winning. And in fact, if you look real close to the clip of me inflicting the last tick of damage to Toby Kadachi, you can see on that same hit, Palumu drops its very first Slinger Pot ammo. which means that Palumu won this with about 30% of its own health. I ended up running this fight two more times to make sure, and Palumu ended up winning every single fight. So why did this happen? Well, I'm not really sure. My best guess though is that Toby Kadachi's tail attack does not do very much damage, but Palumu's butt slams do. So I feel like those five minutes of Palumu butt slams really changed the momentum of the fight. I also expect that Kadachi has lower base health than Palumu, which would explain this very well. Either way, Palumu is walking away with a W on this one, ready to take on the next monster. Alright, I hope everybody enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and consider subscribing. It really helps out my small channel. Also, consider following me on Twitter. It's the best place for me to keep in contact with you guys. But anyway, this has been Widgeon TV. Thanks for watching, guys.